Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've been getting a lot of questions lately about protecting your hands and nails while getting a gel manicure. So there are a lot of concerns when it comes to putting your hands and nails under a UV or LED light, everything ranging from premature aging, wrinkles, to skin cancer concerns. Now I am definitely a huge fan of gel manicures. I do them very often. I regularly make videos showing you how to do them by yourself at home, but I've never sat down to share a few ways that you can actually protect your hands and nails while doing this yourself or at the salon. So today I rounded up five tips to share with you that you can begin implementing immediately. So let's jump into it. All right, number one, one of the easiest things you can do to protect your hands during a gel manicure is to wear fingerless gloves. So this is a pair of fingerless gloves that is designed for the UV and the LED lamps. I forget the exact protection. I think it's like 50 UF, I don't know, I'll put it on the screen right here, but these are designed for this purpose exactly. Oftentimes I will pop these on when I'm giving myself a manicure at home. A lot of people bring them to the salon. A lot of people also wear fingerless gloves like this while they're driving to avoid any harmful rays from the the actual sun. They're very soft, they're very, very lightweight, but they will protect your hands. So this is great for wrinkles, skin cancer concerns. Obviously they're not gonna protect your nail or the top half of your fingers because we do have to paint that portion, but it's a great start. This right here is actually a sample pair that I ordered for Sweet Almond because it's something that I may offer in my shop soon because I do think it's really important and something that people should get into the habit of wearing. But in the meantime, I'll link a few of my favorite gloves that you can find on Amazon for a really great deal. All right, next up. And this is really for those who are doing their nails at home. I recommend using a smaller lamp. So a lot of the UV LED lamps are much larger. You put your whole hand into them, but you really don't need to. All of that skin does not need to be exposed to the light for the polish to cure. So I would recommend investing in a smaller, even a portable, lamp. I've shared this little guy on my channel before and I use this all the time. I probably use this more often than my larger lamp just because it works just as well. It works a little faster and it's easier. It's so small. So it folds up. Let me pop this out. It is a little tricky to pop the legs out. So I always try to use the bottom here. Okay. So this is what it looks like. It's just got these two little legs and the small micro USB port in the back. I just plug it in and then I'll plug this USB either into my computer or into a wall mount, like a little outlet that you plug right into the wall. So whatever's easier, but I do find myself often using this right from my computer. If I'm doing a manicure, I'll pop on like a YouTube video or a movie and I'll just sit there and do my nails. It's great. What I love about this is how tiny it is. So this only has eight lights, but it cures my manicures just as well as the larger lamp. I can use it like this and just put my fingertips in it. A lot of times I'll tilt it on its side and I'll hold my nails up like this to get a better cure or to get that thumb in there because it's it's a little hard to get the thumb in without your fingers going all the way through. There are so many small lamps like this on the market now, really affordable. And honestly, they're just great to have. They come in handy, especially if you're traveling, going away for the weekend. So aside from the health benefits, these are great for a million and one other reasons. Next up, this is kind of a no brainer, but sunscreen. You can actually apply sunscreen to your hands before getting a manicure. So it is recommended to use an SPF 30 broad spectrum sunscreen, apply it liberally to your hands, you can even apply it to your nails and around your nails. This is a great way to protect that skin. But prior to your manicure, whether you're doing it yourself or you're going to get it done, make sure that you rub off any of that sunscreen that got onto your nail and cuticle. You don't want there to be any product, any oil residue lingering because that's gonna prevent your manicure from properly applying and curing. So that's a really important step if you are gonna take the sunscreen route. Totally recommend it. Just make sure that that nail plate is clean. And you can do that by using a little rubbing alcohol or 100% acetone, just gently sweep it over your nail and it'll remove that instantly. All right, tip number four is to invest in a fast curing lamp. Now, a lot of those mini lamps, like the one I just showed you, are actually quite fast curing. They have 30 to 60 second cure times, and that is what you want. Now, you wanna make sure that the cure time is compatible with the type of polish you're using. I use Gelish products exclusively for my gel manicures, and I've never had a problem with cure times with the 30 second lamp, so that works great for me. My original lamp, my older one that I put the whole hand into, it only has a two minute and a three minute cure time. So gel polishes have come a long way in the past like 10 years and you don't need to keep your hands under those lamps for that long. So I went from doing gel manicures and having to put my hand in a lamp for eight minutes per hand, so 16 minutes per manicure, to using a lamp that allowed me to cure my polish in two minutes per hand per manicure. So that is a huge, huge difference and a major improvement. So if you're working with a lamp that has a longer cure time, I would definitely explore my options and look into getting a lamp that has some faster cure times. Okay, and my last tip doesn't really have to do with 
with the lamp itself, but it just has to do with how much you use the lamp. And that is to try to prolong your manicures or your time between salon visits. So the less frequently you get your nails done, the less frequently you're gonna be exposing them to these lights. I'm wearing a gel manicure today. I usually do my gel nails every two to three weeks. I love to try to push it to three weeks. Three weeks, four minutes under a lamp. I'm really comfortable with that. I feel okay with that amount of time, but some people do their nails a little more frequently and you don't wanna be exposing them that often. So there are a few ways you can prolong your manicures. Just be really gentle with your hands and nails. Your nails are jewels, not tools. Don't go picking at things, scratching at things. You don't want your manicure to chip or lift. Don't pick at your manicure. Don't peel your polish off. Don't soak your hands in water for too long of a period of time. If you're washing dishes, always make sure you're wearing gloves. Utilize your cuticle oil. Grab a bottle of sweet almond if you don't already have it. That is my cuticle oil. I'll link it below. I spent a lot of time perfecting that formula and it works absolute wonders for me and a lot of you guys as well. Pick colors that you know you're going to enjoy for a longer period of time. If you want to experiment with funky colors, do that with regular polish or paint over your gel with that. Don't commit to like a wild gel color that you know you're going to get sick of after a few days and want to take off immediately. We're all guilty of that. I've done it many times myself. But extending that time between manicures will really work to your advantage. All right, that is it for this video. Those are just five of my tips for protecting your hands and nails while getting a gel manicure. And I hope you found them helpful. I hope you're able to adopt one of these tips and implement it into your life and manicure routine because it's only gonna help you in the long run. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And leave me a comment below letting me know if you have any additional tips for protecting your hands and nails while getting a gel manicure. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.